While you're in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like, and subscribe. They still got our people in fields picking fruits and vegetables now. And they want to look at them like they crazy because they want a fair wage. They want fair wages. And then when they don't go to work for free, they want to deport you. Read that. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. So one of the curses that God put on us is he said he would scatter us amongst all people. You know what that scattering was? When they sent your people, they came over to America. They took gold and they took your people back to Spain, Europe, England. When they came over here from West Africa and they brought us over here on slave ships, because I'm gonna ask you, I want you to hear this, Jose, watch this. I'm gonna ask my sister right here, what's your name? <laughs> Tiffany. Why do you think they brought us over here and put us in slavery? To do their work, right? So why would they kill all of his people? Think about this. They killed over 100 million so-called Hispanics and Native Americans just to make boats, sail all the way across the world, fight us, bring us over here on slave ships, when they could have just put his people in chains. It wasn't about slavery. What it was is that God got upset with us for breaking his laws, and he sent the white man against us. I want to show y'all this. Watch this. Because I ask my people that a lot. Like, I used to ask myself that. Like, why would they bring us over here? Why would they bring slaves over here to America? And then we say, oh, to work. They had us in the field picking cotton. I said, okay, that makes sense. But then you got to think. Why would they kill over 100 million Native Americans, Hispanics? Why would they kill all of them? They could have just put them in chains. Because you got to think, it takes a lot to kill a whole race of people, make boats, sail all the way across the world. It takes a year to get over there on ships just to go gather us. Then take another year and bring us back over here. Why? So the Bible is a history book. The Bible just means records. It's the recordings of your forefathers. Because in these last days, if Moses was alive, he would be a so-called Haitian. You wonder why the so-called Haitians is into all that voodoo and sacrifice, because they was doing it back then. The so-called Hispanic, this is their history book. The so-called African American, African Americans, Jamaicans, Haitian. We are one people that got divided in slavery. If you look on that sign, we are the children of Israel. Israel was a, Israel was a real man that had 12 sons. Those sons had children that had children that had children. Guess who those children are today? This sister right here. This sister right here. These are the children that God says, I'm going to make to be mine. Right. They're going to be precious, beautiful, strong, wise. Because you ask yourself, the so-called white man had a 400-year head start on us in slavery. But you look at sports. Who run the sports? Who the best? Who you know running up and down the soccer field all day, booting that ball with tricks and all that like that? The so-called Hispanic man. Right. Who you think of? Look at boxing. Who do they always got boxing? They always got a black or a Mexican. Right. Because they know who the real warriors are. Look at football. Go get some big niggas and put them in the field and we gonna bet on them. They making millions and billions of dollars of us beating our heads against each other. You gotta think about this. And it's always happening to our people. We literally the same people, just separated. You know who's gonna fix our communities when we come back together. That's the reason why these people continue to do what they do to us. Because we're not able to fight for each other because we're not with each other. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. So you see that all throughout the Bible. God has a chosen people. Y'all are those chosen people. They like to teach you, oh, God loves everybody. God, no, that's not true. Don't let the Christian, because think about this. The same people that enslaved us set up church and teach us God. Meditate on that for a second. How the hell would I allow the same people that had me oppressed, that got me oppressed, that beat my mother, raped my grandmother, tortured my grandfather, how would I believe anything that they tell me? So we gonna go to their church and worship they white Jesus, but when the Bible says that God looked like him, my brother right here with the dark skin, woolly hair, the Bible says that Christ looked like him. We ain't gonna honor that though. We ain't gonna honor that. Where did I say that? Give me that. And then we're going to go back to Jose. I'm going to show you that. Because this Bible is your history book. Yes, and this, get this, uh, Jose. Don't, you ain't left out. Because I can show you right now. Hey, find that uh, speckled bird. I'm going to show you that as well. His head and his hairs were white like wool. As white as snow. 
and his eyes were as a flame of fire. And he had red eyes, because when you read the Bible, exactly. When you read the Bible, my brother, come pull up over here. Don't salute, come over here. When you read the Bible, it said that his eyes would be red with wine, because Christ drank wine in moderation, read. And his feet, like a defined brass. And it says his feet was a defined brass. What color is brass? Like a, dark a dark brown. So it says like a penny. So it said that Jesus' feet was a dark brown, like a penny. But what else? Read. As if they burned in a furnace. But it was the darkness of it. It was as if it was burned in a furnace. So if I take anything, a white t-shirt, a white piece of rice, a brown box, or anything, and I put it in a furnace and burn it, what color does it come out? Black. When Jesus Christ was walking the earth, he was a very dark-skinned man. If he was alive today, he'd be in the ghettos with the so-called Hispanics and black men today. The same way that they, we was in the ghettos in Rome, we have been in the ghettos in America. But watch this. I want to show you this, Jose. Hold on. Give me that to Hosea real quick. Read. Now, let me show you this. Hosea 7 and 8. This is the book of Hosea, chapter 7 and verse 8. Ephraim has mixed himself among the people. So when you look at Ephraim, if you look on that sign, Ephraim is uh, the so-called Puerto Ricans. But in the Bible, Ephraim is the head tribe of the northern kingdom. Because when you read the Bible, the, the kingdoms were split. You had southern kingdom. That would be the so-called Haitians, Jamaicans, and African Americans. And then you had northern kingdom. That would be your Dominicans, your Puerto Ricans, your Native Americans, your Mexicans, your uh, Colombians. Those, uh, the so-called Hispanic people. Read it again. Ephraim has mixed himself amongst the people. So, Jose, you with me? When the Bible says Ephraim, it's talking about the so-called Hispanic or Latino or Native American man. He's the head of them, So, but it's talking about all of them. Read, watch this. Ephraim is a cake not turned. Read it again. Ephraim is a cake not turned. From the top. Ephraim, he has mixed himself among the people. So it says Ephraim. Ephraim looked like him. But what did Ephraim do? Read that part again. Ephraim, he has mixed himself among the people. Ephraim mixed himself amongst the people. You with me, Jose? Ephraim, meaning the so-called, if a, the so-called Spanish. You been to Mexico? If you go to Mexico, you can find some Mexicans that's blacker than me down there. Am I lying? You can, you can find Mexicans that's darker than me down there. But what did Ephraim do? The Bible says that Ephraim or the so-called Hispanics, they mix themselves among the other people. Like me, my wife is from uh, Mexico, Zacatecas, right? One thing that they are taught at a young age, so-called Hispanics, is to marry white people so that your children can be lighter. You heard that before? Exactly. So that's one thing that they teach. They teach them that. But you know why they do that? To make their skin lighter. But the Bible prophesied that this would happen. Read that again. Ephraim, he has mixed himself among the people. So Ephraim or the so-called Hispanics, they mix themselves amongst the people. Meaning they, the man was laying with white woman. Read. Ephraim is a cake not turned. So the result of that was Ephraim or the nation of the, the so-called Hispanics became a cake not turned. You, you ever made a pancake before? So if you make a pancake, you put a batter in, right? If you leave that batter in and you don't turn it, what happens? You have one side that's dark and then one side that's light. Read it again. Ephraim, he has mixed himself among the people. So the reason why you don't look like him is because your forefathers mixed themselves amongst the people. Read. Ephraim is a cake not turned. And you became a cake not turned. Meaning the lighter, lighter skin. Meaning one side you got dark, then the other, we looking at it right here. My dark skin brother right here, then my other side of the cake right here, brother. But we're one nation of people. Is that it on that? So that's basically what we out here doing, my sisters, my brothers, is we here to show y'all, y'all not regular people. Jose, you gotta come on this side, bro. If you really care about your people, if you really care about the fact that they got our princesses, they got young men, just think about it. If you would've got caught amongst the wrong people, you could be in a cage right now. But what are we doing for our brothers? That's my mindset. I just, just you want to know why I'm out here? Because I can't just sit back and be okay with what's going on with my people. It, it just ain't in me. I just can't sit there and watch my brother just go through it and just be cool with it. And just go to sleep at night like, oh, everything's okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. But then you got the thoughts that knowing that, damn, that could be my daughter in the cage. That could be my brother in the cage. If you really want to help, get over here in this purple and come out here and help get your people. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission.
Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark We on Paul's mission We out on the road Purple and gold From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how we're men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth.